Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Funny thing is, I've already started this vlog and the memory card did something that it was not supposed to do and that is my only knowledge on the subject, but I lost the footage. So here we are again, but losing the footage was just as well because I sat down, I dug out six of my uh, unbelievable gels from the nail throne and I was gonna swatch them, we were gonna do it together and I explained to you what I was going to do after and then I turned around to pick up my swatch sticks out of the drawer and I was like, I what? I, I just literally like turned this place upside down. I don't have any swatch sticks. I explained it to the camera. I'm gonna have to order more. I'm gonna have to wait for this video, you know, in my head, that's what I'm thinking. Do you remember a couple of videos ago I totally like cleaned and rearranged? <laughs> Never put things like this in a new place. God, you're not gonna find it. So anywho, I have got my, there's only a few left on this one, but I've got my dots that I have used. These are in my Amazon store in the link tree down below. Love that, that's like a light green. You're probably not seeing the color on camera. Love these, love them so much. And a little trick that I like to do with them is there is a more rounded side to the top of them so that when you use the double-sided sticky stuff to put them on, obviously they sit flat. Uh, and so I was painting the upper side and not they don't look grungy by any means, but they just were getting worn because I was touching them, right? And I'm not careful with my products. Some of them I've got like black smeared on and stuff like that. So I started painting the underside and then I'm gluing the actual polish onto the jar that way. So if you purchase these, um, hopefully by my recommendation, then paint the underside. I think I'm also gonna throw that on Instagram just to give the little hack to the people because it's kind of been a game changer and it just looks nicer. It looks nicer somehow. Let's get started. I only have six unbelievable gels that I hadn't, yeah, that I hadn't swatched and we're gonna get to this. What I had explained in the last clip that I lost, two, three, four, five, six, is I think what I'm going to do this fall is take apart all of my swatch rings. I probably have colors on here too that I no longer own, of course. But I am going to, I'm gonna keep this one because these are the other new colors that came with the six that I'm swatching now. They're very fall-esque. I mean, they're just, the nudes, the reds, uh, there's a couple of little quarrelies in there, burgundies, uh, browns, and then the four glow-in-the-darks that I got, which are pastel -y, but I'm leaving them in because people are loving glow-in-the-dark. But I'm gonna take this stick, put these remaining colors on it because they are the new ones. Then I'm going to take apart these, and I'm going to keep them, but I'm going to take all the fall colors off of them and put them all on one swatch stick, so, or one swatch ring, so that all of the fall colors are in one place. And then I will also, in the next couple of weeks, I might do it today, I might not, I'm going to go through my collection here, and then separately I will go through my Glitter Bells gel polishes, which are above. I will bring the fall colors down here, again, the fall colors down here, and the summery colors up a little further. That is kind of how I would normally do it. One other thing that I do is I take the summer colors out of here and I make those also into the more popular colors. Probably, if I'm being honest, gonna do that first for the Glitter Bells ones. It pretty much ends up bringing all of the common color gel polishes down. So I only have to worry about like one row of those up there. But the, the unbelievable gels, it would be neat just to keep the current colors here, but there's not enough space. So I will, I'll rearrange that and bring those fall colors. It just makes it easier. I have a lot of stock. And when someone picks out a color, I don't want to necessarily have to go looking for it. I don't really ever have to look for things that much, but sometimes, I mean, there are times when I'm like, starting to sweat because I'm looking for a color. And if I if I don't turn around and immediately know-ish where it is, then a lot of times I have to look for it. I don't love that for me. I'm going to 
wipe these swatch sticks just simply because I've had them for a while. Which is why I was like, where are all my swatch sticks? Because uh, when I buy them, I'm gonna wipe off the top of these bottles as well just to get the fingerprints off of them. Ooh, that's a lot of alcohol. And that way they'll look nicer when I get the little dots on there. And honest to God, those dots, game changer. Super duper game changer. Even for, take a bright one so you can see it. Even for these bottles. Like that is just so much more fun. So even if you don't do swatches, which I probably don't have to say again, but you guys know I hate them. Uh, even if you're not going to do typical swatches, having those dots, like my clients actually comment, even on my tray over here, that it's much easier for them to see them. And they can be looking at those while we're talking like while we're while we're doing their nails they can be they can be looking at those and thinking about them so that it doesn't have to be all in that moment of okay what color are we going to do so it does take some people a little bit longer to decide some people come in knowing exactly what they want and other people are like you pick and i kind of love that you pick but usually i will ask like okay are we going like nude are we going like dark and then they'll give me you know some sort of recommendation but Cream cake, okay, oh, I love this one so much. It's a warm white. I love the warm white. Join me. red eye iced coffee it has a shot of espresso in it it does literally nothing for me but I got I always make my iced coffee at home this morning was no different but I have this can of iced coffee that I got in the US and it was uh, it had like M M uh, TC oil MCT oil it had some protein in it it was supposed to be vanilla flavored Blah, blah. I, I put it in my cup, I tasted it. It was the first thing I had had this morning, so I just like tasted it a little bit. And it was like really kind of rich and sweet. So I had already made my iced coffee for this morning, so I put a little bit of my black iced coffee, Dunkin' Donuts um, iced coffee in it. And it tastes like it has alcohol in it. <laughs> And I find that I get the taste of alcohol in iced coffee when it has butterscotch flavor. Anything with a caramel flavor seems to be okay, like caramel macchiato, caramel vanilla, even caramel vanilla though sometimes has this like rum undertone to it for me. And anyway, it's probably, yeah, like it's, it's literally so full. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not drinking that. So I did my first and second client, had a little break, went out and got this, and uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I am gonna start creating some Halloween nail art. And it's not for anyone in particular, it's more just for me. I love Halloween nail art. And it's kind of a short season. So although I don't mind doing it year round, whatever. Anyway, I found these nails, they were saved on my Instagram. I have 
thousands of pictures of saved nails on my Instagram. And these were, you know, one hand is more uh, impressive. One hand has a lot more, I should screenshot it. One hand has a lot more detail in it. And the other hand is a little bit simpler. And what ends up happening is I start with something really difficult and then I fail because I haven't done a lot of little brush work lately. And then I get mad and then, you know, it's a whole thing. But uh, I'm gonna start with the simpler side. But I wanna give a credit to the artist right now before I even get started. So these were posted by an account called Berserk, but they were made by XX Beauty. Hold on. Beauty, no, Beautivo. I'll write it up here. They were made by her. They were posted, they, they were posted by this Berserk account in uh, January 28th of 2020. They are Beetlejuice. So I am going to do, I think, the four on kind of the lesser, <laughs> less intense hand, which would be, let me go to the screenshot and see if I can blow it up a little bit, which would be uh, the, oops, my phone is getting really hitchy, you know? how they hitch, like they just, it's an iPhone, you know, you know. So these are the nails, I really hope you can see them. I'm going to do the bottom hand. The top hand is quite a bit more difficult because you have the Beetlejuice and you have the, sorry I'm backwards, you have the Beetlejuice and you have the, uh, what is that thing called? The sneaky double-headed thing. Although I may put, I may put one of these nails on the flat black one because, you know, that's my story. That's what I think I'm going to do unless I find something better in the next few minutes, which has happened before. Then those are the ones that I'm going to kind of start with. I also really like these and they're, well maybe I'll start with these. See, this, this is how, this is how this happens. This is how this happens. I change my mind, change my mind, I change my mind. I look and I look and I look and I look and I look. And then, oh, look at that, I'm out of time. I have a client coming, can't do it. This is this is the process, ladies and gentlemen. This is also the process with picking out a uh, Netflix show. These ones, these are fun. Gotta do the beauty YouTube thing in order to get it to focus. So these were posted by, let's go back. Give a little credit. Halloween Nails Official posted them on uh, November 29th of 2019. The nails, okay, so the nails are by one person and the nail art is by another. So they're saying that the nails are by Sandra R. Clement and the nail art is by Tatis W. Beauty. And she was still posting as of five days ago. So she's, oh, she's in Madrid. Anywho, those are super cool. So that's an option. It's actually a really good option because it has a little 3D in it. That's how this that's how this happened. Can't remember if I've said this yet, but I still haven't done the swatches. I do need to do that. The idea of going through them and taking out the ones that I no longer own is like, but I do know that there are some there. This weekend, I'm not sure what's going to happen or if I'll film anything or be able to film anything. There are a few choices. Choice number one, do nothing. I love that choice. Take baths, read books sit on the back deck, walk my dog, hike. That's my do nothing. And the next option would be, there's a flea market within a couple of hours from us that would be kind of cool, just day trip, go to. Uh, you never know what you're gonna find, you know? Third option would be to repaint my entire house. It's a very fall thing for me to do. So we'll see what is going to happen, but I can tell you one thing I'm not doing within the next couple of days is another leg day, because oh my God. I don't know what I did different with this leg day, but I can hardly move today. And normally it takes two days for me to get doms and today I can't move. So tomorrow's gonna be great. So tomorrow might be the day that I hike just to shake them out, do one of the harder trails. Maybe I'll take you with me. That could be kind of fun. I will have to come in here and clean at some point. I am thinking about walk with me. So as you guys know, we have my window and my new window blind that I love 
so, so much. Polish racks, you come over to my sink area, and then we have this inside window, which is right beside my door. I'm really kind of thinking about, oh, sorry, you're rocking around. I'm really kind of thinking about using that blind over here. Oddly enough, it's the same size. I wouldn't have thought, I would have thought this to be wider, uh, but it's not, it's the same size I measured it this morning. I might put that up and that could be fun. Let's just do that right now. Let's just do that right now. Those blinds are so amazing. They're in my Amazon store linked below. Uh, like, if you didn't see my last vlog of me putting the one up in the window, this one will even be easier because I can reach the window better. Sorry, the music's going. Alexa, stop. We don't want to get a copyright. But I'm going to do this one and you'll literally be able to see how easy it is. do just a little bit differently. I'm actually going to cut a little bit of length off of it before I put it up. I didn't with that one. I left out the length and it's fine just hanging there. I have no need for it to go up and down. I don't think these are meant to go up and down very much, but the clips that I have it clipped up with only hold so much material and I have those clips maxed out. Well, I do need to cut a little bit off of that one at some point, but I'm going to cut this one now so that it's just closer to being the proper length. process in 18 minutes. I probably only use 10 of those minutes putting a plan. So from my view, I'm spilling coffee. From my view, this is where I would be sitting uh, doing clients. And when I look out, I'll show you what I see. So that's it. That's pretty cool. I really love that. That way I can adjust it. Like if I want it to be more private, uh, if I have someone else in here like doing Botox or what have you. They may need the privacy. Botox isn't just for the face, it's for many other things. So I think that's pretty neat. That makes me very happy. Um, I am gonna check on that one now that I'm staring at it. It does look good, but I think it's just relaxing. And that's the thing about that one, like it will relax more. I did notice it with this one, also fine, didn't matter. But I'm pretty happy with it.
Hey guys, so future Molly and I here, and I'm editing and realized I give you guys zero outro. We just went into the nature shot and then that was the end of the video. And I actually almost uploaded it that way by mistake. But here we are to say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I did film a little bit of that walk. It was like almost eight kilometers yesterday. It was really, really nice. Uh, the GoPro was almost out of battery think maybe that is why the footage just wasn't great. But I thought I'd include it anyway because it was really nice and it sounded really nice. So I hope you subscribe for more from us. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them down below and I will see you guys next week.